coming up in round number two. Competitor two here in the opening round, representing Australia, Alicia Colloy, silver medalist in the three meter synchro, along with Kate Rosman. Inward two and a half, fight position for Alicia. Starting with the inward dive, athletes, the rest of uh, the la next five divers, starting with the inward or the back, not starting with the hurdle. It gives them a little bit more confidence. They don't need to be worried about the whole hurdle to the end of the board. Also, the inward having a bit of a higher DD, so up top spot for the very first round. A really nice inward two and a half. Pat on the back for Alicia. Numbers ranging all the way up to seven. All taking care of them all, dealing with anything that needs to be dealt with. Also taking care of the youngsters, you know, under age 18, 19. She's been great, and I mean, they must feel so supported with all of their staff here. Yeah, she's done a terrific job and had a chance to talk with her earlier in the week, and she puts her athletes first, there's no question. Here's Alicia Colloy of Australia. Forward three and a half. What a great takeoff. She's so tight in her pipe, just squeezing past where she needed to exit her dive in order to get that straight up and down position in the water. She's at the three and a half, three and a half position. She wants to come out just in between the triple position and the three and a half. So that's why she landed over on her back. A game plan, a roadmap for each of these athletes, and it's all about progressions. And for Lily, just to be exposed to this environment, to push herself and to see what's out there, it'll be great in, in stretching her and inspiring her to keep building. Alicia Colloy, back two and a half, pike position. Five time Grand Prix medalist. Dive a little bit hard to control. She's got great power off the board, just needs to use that on her come out. She comes out nice, she just pulls herself, so she kind of gets that arch into the water. She didn't need to on this dive. She had a lot of height water when she came out, just causing that splash on the bottom and those bit of a lower scores. Four to five. On to Alicia Colloy. First of two Australians in this final. Colloy was third in semi-final B, but just behind Pamela Ware. Falling slightly short on the really love about her hurdle is how high she jumps, the confidence and the power. It's really easy to lose control when you're putting that much power into your hurdle. She takes the chance, really great dive. Just coming out a little bit early, landing that slide. It's been a long journey for the Australians to get here. It's been a long week for everybody. Team Australia has unbelievable team managers. Michael Hetherington. This was something she would be happy about and proud of, and why not? So Lily Whitty completes her competition and we move along to Alicia Colloy of Australia. Completing things with a forward two and a half and a twist in the pike position. Nice. You know, Alicia's been very, most of her dives have been over. The judges would much prefer to see that you can actually make the dive. And if you're going to, you know, not make it perfect, at least you're going over and showing them that you have the potential. Instead of dropping it short, actually can't make the dive. That was a nice event. She's such a strong athlete. And there she is, Alicia Colloy of Australia, wrapping things up.